I'm uh, Dr. Richard Gallagher. I'm a uh, board certified psychiatrist and obviously a physician uh, trained at Yale. I was an undergraduate at Princeton. Dr. Richard Gallagher has your standard set of medical qualifications, but also... I'm now the longest standing American member of the International Association of Exorcists as a, as a uh, non-exorcist, of course. Dr. Gallagher lends his expertise to some unusual cases. These are people that I consult upon, usually at the request of clergy. Of, of different faiths, especially Catholics, because I'm a Catholic uh, believer myself, but I have dealt with clergy of, of pretty much all faiths. And I evaluate them, and I do a very thorough standard evaluation, and then I usually tell the individual I'm consulting upon, as well as the clergy, whether I think this can be explained as a medical or psychiatric disorder, and they make the official diagnosis, but obviously I'm gonna have a strong opinion as someone very experienced in the field, whether they might have a demonic attack, which comes in different varieties, the most serious of which is uh, possession. I don't wanna give the impression that I think these conditions, at least possessions, are anything but rare, um, but I, I am aware that there's more of these cases than, than most people uh, uh, understand to be the case. What's Dr. Gallagher looking for when he's called in for one of those special consultations? Most people would use the, the modern term, there has to be something paranormal. Uh, although I think the word paranormal is somewhat pseudoscientific and there's a lot of fringe stuff that gets included under that category. There are these remarkable things like, you know, rare levitations or people going into a trance and speaking all kinds of foreign languages or people exhibiting very, very strange, bizarre movements and possessing an enormous strength that is clearly beyond normal human nature, as well as people who have what they call hidden knowledge. Uh, there's a classic Latin term for that, latra. They possess knowledge of stuff that they couldn't know otherwise. The criterion are strongly suggestive of a foreign entity or intelligence that has somehow attacked and is in some way within the, the, the personality or taking over the consciousness of the victim. In the Christian faith in general, we, we believe they're fallen angels. Then there is a very malevolent voice that comes out of this individual. Keep away, the soul is mine. This personality basically hates human beings, hates God, and hates anything religious or sacred. So you see this sort of malevolent, hateful, nasty, arrogant, prideful personality. It sounds like something right out of the horror classic, The Exorcist. But Dr. Gallagher insists this sort of thing actually happens, like with a patient he called Julia. During the exorcism, she spoke foreign languages. Um, she exhibited enormous strength. She struggled against the people restraining her literally for hours, exhausting, you know, about five people who were trying to hold her. And she also had other psychic abilities. How does an Ivy League educated physician end up dealing with exorcisms? I mean, I was brought up Catholic, so, you know, I had an open mind about these things. Dr. Gallagher shares his experiences in his new book, Demonic Foes, My 25 Years as a Psychiatrist Investigating Possessions, Diabolic Attacks, and the Paranormal. I don't think there's any contradiction between, you know, science and faith. I mean, faith is, is supposed to be based on some evidence. The evidence is a little bit different than what the modern conception of science is. I'm a doctor. I try to help suffering people, even if they have a controversial diagnosis. So that's why I get involved. This is Inside Edition Digital.